Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Avery and today I'm here to bring y'all the Guilty Reader book tag. I was actually tagged to do this video by Sloane Morin, so thank you so much Sloane for tagging me to do this video. I will totally link her channel down below for y'all. Y'all should totally go check that out. I love her channel and she's an upcoming booktuber and y'all should totally go and support her. So I guess we'll just go jump right on into this tag. Question number one is have you ever re-gifted a book that you have been given? And for this one, I don't think I have. I don't remember. I have bought books that I forgot I had an extra copy of and so I gave my extra copy to a friend for maybe their birthday or something because I knew that they might find it interesting or something. I've done that but I've never gifted a book and then given the book to someone else. I've always bought them and given them to someone else. <laughs> Question number two is have you ever said that you have read a book when you haven't? And for this one I don't think so. I'm sure there was some like required history book that I maybe had to read for an AP history class or something. And I never read that. I mean, that's the only time. If it's any English class, I will read the book even if I don't know if I'm interested or not just because I love books and I kind of trust my teachers to tell me if books are good or not, hopefully for English class. But for history class, history is the bane of my existence. I love history, but history class, especially like American history, American history doesn't really interest me. I might live in America, but it does not interest me. I'm like way more infatuated with like the British monarchy and stuff like that. Probably Probably I have not read like an American history book out there or something when I told the teacher that I had. Question number three is have you ever been given a book and have never returned it? And I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Question number four is have you ever read a series out of order? And yes, I have, but they have mostly been companion novels, so it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. An example would be Five Ways to Fall by K.A. Tucker. This is the last and final book in some series. I don't even know the name of the series because I only read the last book in the series, but it is a companion series so you didn't have to read all the books to understand this book because they were like a new cast of characters, but yeah, I haven't read any of the other books. I've just read the last one because they're all companion novels. So you don't really need to read them in order. And plus, I didn't know it was a part of a series until after I read the book. So yeah. Question number five is, have you ever spoiled a series for someone? And I have not. I'm very cautious on that kind of thing. I have only spoiled series for people or like books for people if they ask me to. I ask them before I tell them the spoiler. Hey, are you going to read this book? And they're like, no. Like, mostly it's my friends that I know that I that won't read books whatsoever because I need to gush about it to someone. So I've only ever spoiled books for people if they say that they're never going to read the book or if they give me permission to. I told one of my best friends, like, basically almost the whole entire plot point for A Court of Mist and Fury. Like, she let me do it. And because of all of that I said and what happens between the two main characters and their love interest, she went out and read the entire series after I talked about just A Court of Mist and Fury. So things like that have happened where I have told a spoiler but they gave me permission to and then they went out and bought the book apparently because they liked what I said. Question number six is have you ever dog-eared a book? And unfortunately, yes, I have. If y'all are not familiar with my channel, I am a very big romance person and I love my romance times. So whenever there is a romantic scene in a book or a kissing scene or anything of the sort where my heart just soars, I put a tabby mark on that page because I love to go back in my spare time and read just the kissing parts. I know it's embarrassing. I know. I know. But when I was younger, middle school, elementary, I did the same thing. I've been doing this for a while, so it's it, it's not new for me. But back then, I didn't have like sticky notes or anything. I didn't even think about it. So I would dog ear the bottom of pages with the kissing scenes in them. I know I'm horrible and I'm sorry and I didn't use them to like mark the page, I just used them to keep folded for forever so I could always know when someone was kissing someone else. 
I'm sorry. Question number seven is have you ever told someone that you do not own a book that you actually do own? And I don't think so. I'm very loud and proud about what books I read and what books I own. Question number eight is have you ever told someone that you have not read a book that you actually have? No, not that I know of. As I said before, I am very loud and proud about what books I read, so I don't really get all that embarrassed about the books I read. Question number nine is have you ever skipped a chapter or a section in a book before? And yes, I have. There have been books where I get very bored and the description or the dialogue just goes on forever, repeating the same thing and it gets quite boring at points and so I sometimes skim. And there also have been times where there have been dual perspectives of characters in a book and I don't really like one of the characters that's the narrator. Some of those are a thing so I maybe like reduce my reading time for the character I don't like to a minimum and maybe like skim his chapter. I'm sorry. That has happened before. I cannot remember specifically but I know it has. But I get all the information anyway because most of those books are just repeating the same things over and over again and I don't really know why. Like get down to the point please. Thank you. And the last question for this tag, question number 10, is have you ever badmouthed a book that you actually liked? No, I have not. I love my books and if I don't like a book, I would tell you. And I'm not embarrassed by the books I read. And so now I'm going to be tagging three booktubers and these are all small booktubers up and coming. So I hope all of you check them out. Number one is Kyla O'Connor. Number two is Books Ramble. And number three is Pages and Prose. So I hope all of you go check out their channels. They're absolutely fantastic. I love watching their videos every single time they post one. So I hope you all enjoyed this tag. Let me know down below what you're most guilty of when you read. And I'll see you later with a new video. Bye.